Hello everyone, this is DA from A Academy and today we are going to see what is a quotient space in functional analysis. So let we have a normed space N and a subspace of a normed space N that is represented by S. Then for any element of that normed space N now we represent the elements of the normed space n by small n. So for any element of, of that normed space n, that may be in, in that s or outside from that s. So in the definition, it doesn't matter that where the position of that element of n in s or outside s that we are going to take. So if we have a normed space n, a subspace of n that is s, then for any element of a normed space n and then we form a set like this that adding that element that was picked in from a normed space added to every element of that subspace s so we form a set like this so this set is called a coset of s determined by the element that was picked that was n from the normed space capital n we can also say that this is a translate of s by n because we translate it we add this n in every element of s so we translate the set s by n so here this is called the coset of s and this is a linear space under addition and scalar multiplication and and what is meant by linear space that it satisfy the two basic the very first is if we take two elements from that coset then we can write it as n1 plus n2 plus s because we know that this is a coset so we can write here and because n is a normed space so if n1 belongs to n n2 belongs to n then the sum would be in n as well so let's say this is n3 that is n1 plus n2 so this will be n3 plus s and that belongs to the coset that was under study so this is a linear space under addition and when we're talking about the scalar multiplication so we have a scalar alpha the element of n that is n and s so we can also write this as alpha times n plus alpha times s so this is just as s so we get alpha n plus s and because n is a norm space so the scalar multiple of that element must be also in n so this is an all element of n so this is also an element of the coset that was under consideration so this is uh, so we can say that n plus s is a coset that is linear space under addition and scalar multiplication and this set of coset of s in n is called the quotient space of n by s and is denoted by n by s so this is the representation of a quotient space the, the upper here that n is a normed space and s is a subspace and the very important point here is that that this sign uh, that if we are going to write it like this that n like this so this comes up like the difference of the two sets so this is not a notation of the quotient space this is the notation of the quotient space so n by s uh, where n is a normed space, s is a subspace, and s, the coset of s is n is called the quotient space of n by s and is denoted by this. So this is the definition of a quotient space and when we're talking about the dimension of this, then the dimension of this is called deficiency of s, the deficiency of that subspace. So and now we can uh, see that how we can make a quotient space a normed linear space that how we can define a norm on, on that quotient space. So we are going to see the norm on that quotient space. Let this is the norm defined on N, that double bars here. So this is the norm in N. And for N, X plus S, the coset that has been defined here. So, so for the coset N plus S, the norm will be defined as n plus s and this is norm that is different from the norm in n so we can 
write this here 1 to make it different from this norm so norm of n plus s 1 that is equal to the infimum of of all of the elements that was n in, in n plus s in the corset where what is meant by this thing that is the distance of n and s so this is the infimum of infimum where all of the s belong to s so this is the norm defined on the quotient space n by s like this the norm of n plus s is what that infimum of all of the elements that was in the coset, set and that is eventually the distance between the n and s that is s, the element of the norm space and the subspace so where d is the metric uh, induced by the norm by the norm this on on the norm space so this is the desirable norm on the quotient space